Hey, what up my awesome viewers? It's Rio Gian here. Just giving you guys an update with the Note 9 Exynos Edition. Android 10. Just to kind of see how things are like having this phone long term and being... I think this is the, the, the kind of phone where you can buy for like 400 bucks now. So that's really good. That's a... That is a really, really good price for this phone actually. And okay, so the most important thing is, or at least to me, it's gonna be battery life, so let's check, take a look, check it out, actually finding it. Okay. Okay, so screen on time, 3 hours and 49 minutes, which is actually a pretty decent amount. This is like a decent day. Uh, I would not say heavy, but I also would not say light. So a, a decent day with just playing stuff on meme, some music, PPSS, PP, YouTube. Oh, uh, this is the, the Atlas YouTube, by the way. So if you guys are interested in that, that's, that's Atlas. Like, no ads. So, cool stuff. Uh, Forge, Gallery, and just a bunch of other minor stuff. And yeah, so mainly, again, I'm mainly sort of like an emulator kind of guy where I just play emulated games and stuff on the phone because the in-app, the games that are in the app store are filled with microtransaction and are not fun most of the time. So yeah, that's what I do. And to be honest, with this kind of battery life, it's actually not that bad. Like almost four hours of screen on time with 52% left, so... I'm guessing it's probably the same as it was before because before I think I averaged about 8 so this is probably going to average about 8 more or less and yeah I, I still don't understand why people complain about the Exynos version having terrible battery life uh, to be honest 8 hours is actually good enough you, you should not be on the phone that long anyways to be honest but hey you know if that's you it's eight, eight hours is actually not that bad but maybe to some that's terrible like so some of you guys out there eight hours of battery life you guys are like no this is like chump so that, that could also be you so I don't know which whatever whichever the case it is and then in terms of the camera improvements this is how the cameras are and one of the things that I was hoping that they would change is that I was hoping to do a was it a, a 60 FPS right without the the 10 minutes but as you guys can see here it, it still has that 10 minutes so that kind of sucks because I was hoping to remove that from a software I honestly think that this is a software limitation kind of deal where you can just, you know, literally remove this from a software patch. But I guess not. So sad, but oh well. And then in terms of camera quality, it, it's pretty much the same. I don't think anything really changes. They say improvements, but improvements are probably so minor that it doesn't really matter. Then besides battery life, besides camera, I think those are pretty much the most important features that people would look for in the phone in terms of the software update. So camera, to be honest, hasn't changed much. And I, I miss the whole having two two buttons, like one button for a photo, one button for, for a video. I seriously thought I, I wouldn't miss it, but I actually do. It's actually kind of handy. And I think Samsung should probably bring that back, to be honest. So, yeah, I think I touched base on this before with my why I'm keeping the Note 9 video discussion S20 Real Talk. And, yeah, overall, it's pretty much the same reason, to be honest. The screen is still really good. And most of the time, I'm not even doing the 2K thing. I think I'm doing the 1080p thing. If I can remember. Um... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm I'm doing full HD plus because to be honest, there's no there's literally no difference here. So I do this save battery life. This you will actually tell a difference. It's not worth it. 
but this is like that sweet metal ground so I would say go go for the 1080p because that's pretty good and to be honest here, here this is what 1080p looks like really good right okay so now we're gonna do 2k right, I believe that's what I think 2k is so let's do 2k apply all right see a difference probably not me neither so what's the point but if you really want to say oh yeah my, my display can display 2k even though you can't really tell a difference anyways just do do this do do 1080p to, to be honest even in 2020 1080p is still really good like a lot of phones that have 1080p screens are still really good so to be honest I don't I don't see why you should do 2K or 4K or not 90 hertz or whatever whatever hertz. It's still really good. It's still really smooth. Not worth the upgrade. If if you have something like this, if you have like a S9 Plus or a Note 9, and you consider moving on to something, don't don't do yourself a favor and don't. Cause here's the thing: the cameras are good enough. To be honest. They are. And the battery life, again, good enough. And most likely, if you guys are in the US, you guys have the better version, right? The Snapdragon 845? Or 50, 845 for, for this, this particular phone? 845? Yeah. Like, you guys have the better version anyways. Like, uh, pe pe people like me, even though I'm in the US. But, yeah, well... People like me that click ordered and didn't check the phone, but you know, and end, ends up with the Exynos version. But then again, it's it still isn't that bad. Like it's not that bad at all. But yeah, that's you know that's kind of my my little thing about this phone. So if you have this phone and you want to trade it in for something else, don't. It's not worth it. Wait maybe two more years, then probably see. Cause yeah, this is still a really good phone. Don't give up on it. And those of you that are wanting to upgrade to something newer, if you have like a really old phone, this is $400 or less. $400 or less. And you're getting the Snapdragon one too, I'm pretty sure, which is the better version than this one. So 400 bucks or less. That's actually really good. Anyways, this video is a lot longer than I think it is. So yeah, you guys like it, you know. Subscribe, comment, hit the bell, more content, you guys stay awesome.